Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. This is Dane, and I am going to be doing a spirit guide message reading for you. Now, this reading is undated because I firmly believe that whenever you hear this, whenever your spirit guide sends you this message, is the time that you were supposed to hear it. Now, if this res- if this reading resonates with you, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. So let's see now, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what your spirit guides have to say. And I'm just going to put your fairy guidance and your witchling cards over to the side. And we're going to shuffle your angel tarot. And why I chose this tarot deck is because it has the writing on the bottom. So I feel like this gives your spirit guides even more control over what they want to say and how they want to say it to you. So let's see now Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, what your spirit guide message is. Spirit guide message for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Spirit guide message for Libra, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. Spirit guide message for Libra. 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 Show me clearly. 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 Fantastic. This is where we're going to stop. At the center of everything, Libra, is the five of waters, the five of cups. You are crowned then with the page of air. This is you coming through as a page. You are represented by the air in the minor arcana, by the swords in the minor arcana, by the justice card in the major arcana. Then we have the chariot, which represents a cancer energy. The high priestess. The nine of air. The nine of swords at your root. Renewal which is the judgment card and the six of air moving forward. That's really beautiful. The king of waters, the king of cups. Okay. Strong cancer energy here. The world opening up to you. And then we have the queen of earth and earth sign energy. Oh goodness. You can't see that, which is a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. Let's see your fairy guidance. Libra, spirit guide message for Libra. Spirit guide message for Libra. Spirit guide's message for Libra. This one right here. Beauty. Yeah, you really are going to be embracing the beauty of the world. And that's going to be where you feel yourself really drawn to, the beautiful things that life has to offer you. Spirit guide's message for Libra. All right, this one right here. Oh, goodness. Communication. Pay attention to your words. Pay attention to the way you communicate with those around you, what you say, how you say it, your facial expression, everything like that. That's going to come into play, Libra. You may also find yourself reading too much into like the undertones of what people are saying. Pull back from that. Don't don't live in that truth too much. You're kind of really kind of analyzing and analyzing and analyzing the deeper meanings of what people are trying to say to you or how people are trying to say it. Because you're going to drive yourself up a wall if you do it. That's what your spirit guide is really saying. Kind of take things, not at face value, but don't drive yourself crazy over, th- over things. Because people aren't going to be... Okay, what your spirit guide is saying is that people aren't going to be as truthful as you want them to be. They're not going to be as forthright as you want them to be. And because of that, you, you may feel uncomfortable with, some, with certain people at this time. All right, because they're going through their own things. But what you're going to do is you're going to see their kind of standoffishness. You're going to see their acting strangely or, you know, kind of, you know, making certain faces at certain times. And you're going to take that as personal. Don't. And if you need to ask the person, like, you know, why did you make that face when I said that? And it could just be that their back was hurting them or, you know, it reminded them that they forgot to pick up the milk on the way home or something to that effect. That's what your spirit guide is saying. There's something that will happen or has happened that has made you feel bad about yourself or doubt things or, or something like that. And they're saying here to just address it and not let it fester because you're going to have a tendency to want to do that, to just kind of internalize it and make it, make it about you and make it not about you in a bad way, but make it something that you have done and you're going to try and, and rectify it. But there's really nothing that you have to rectify. So that's what your spirit guide is saying at this time. Right? So it's going to do kind of with an open communication, but also being open about your emotions. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Spirit guides. Okay. So I already shuffled and meditated upon these. So when they fall out just like that, 
We do the top and the bottom. It's really a good sign. So we have confidence and luck. You have luck guiding you. You also have a confidence within yourself. So we start here with confidence. And this says, self-confidence opens you to the energy required to carry you through each day at your best. And that's truth. You know, be confident within yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know what, I got this. I do. And say it out loud to yourself. Look yourself dead in the eye and say, I got this. I know what I'm doing. I know how I'm moving forward. Let your confidence shine through. You might feel, you know, like you're, you have all bravado, but it's kind of like fake it till you make it. Pretend that you have the confidence, even if you don't. And sit there and be sure of yourself. Why? Because everybody's winging it. Life is about winging it. Some people wing it better than others. Some people make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Some people make mistakes more often than others. Don't sit there and let mistakes define you. Say, okay, I learned from it and move on. Some people don't even acknowledge their mistakes. So here, acknowledge your truth. You know, sit there, know who you are, and don't let anything hold you back. The color that shines through here is blue. That's healing and cleansing your throat chakra. As I said, you know, communication is going to be very important at this time. Then we have luck. With a clear direction of what you want to achieve, you're summoning energy that brings good luck. And that's just truth. You're summoning energy that brings you good luck. There's kind of like a lucky star around you. You're not going to see it right away, but know that it's there. Healing and cleansing your heart chakra, especially for you, Libra. I mean, love is a tremendous part of you. So healing and cleansing your, your heart chakra, listening to heart chakra cleanses before you go to bed at night, that's actually going to really help you connect with your spirit guide, with the spirit message that's, messages that are around you, with what it is that you desire. Then we have beauty. Beauty is unveiled from the lustrous light within. It's internal beauty that you're going to be drawn to. External beauty, yes, you're going to find yourself much more drawn to the beautiful things in life. All right? Surrounding yourself with beauty. If you could look at a picture or just something that you love before you go to bed, whether it be the person lying next to you or whether you want to look at a meadow of flowers, it doesn't really matter. But seeing and surrounding yourself with beauty before you go to sleep at night is going to help raise your energy vibration. It's going to help pull off the muck and the mire of the day. And it's going to help move you forward to the place that you want to be. So if you can have beauty around you, if you love Let's say you love stories, you love reading, okay? Listen to a book as you go to sleep at night, all right? Or you love movies, put on a movie as you go to sleep at night. If you can't fall asleep to movies, then it's just, just have yourself surrounded by things that you love, okay? Watch, watch a movie before you go to sleep at night. You know, it's just going to be something here that helps you raise your energy vibration. And don't if you love horror movies and horror films, and I know that, you know, I know I'm saying I'm not going to date it, but when this video is coming out, it's kind of the season, the Halloween season. But don't, don't watch anything too gory or too, too bloody or anything like that because that actually pulls you down. If you can surround yourself with things that make you smile, things that make you laugh, just beautiful things, really your spirit guide is saying that's something that will just bring you so much joy and so much happiness. Then we have communication, and it'll really help raise your energy vibration to a beautiful place. It says the sharing of insights and ideas are embodied through the art of communication. Open communication, but also don't overanalyze situations. Don't overanalyze it because you'll drive yourself up a wall, Libra. We have the eight of waters here, the eight of cups. And this says, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. There's something that you're moving on from. It's at the heart of this reading. That's why beauty is so important to you. That's why you need to embrace your confidence. That's why it's saying be mindful of communications because you're moving forward to something that is so much more meaningful to you than where you are right, right now. And then we have the world card. A job well done, joy, commitment, and gratitude. The path forward the path towards enlightenment. I find the text just a little bit hard to read, so do bear with me. So you are moving towards enlightenment. You have the world open up to you. And you're moving away from something that you had thought you would love probably forever or you might have thought you would love forever. It can even be a person that you thought, wow, this is my person. This is the person that I'm going to be with forever and ever and ever. And it wound up not being true. 
but you're going to see that new worlds, new opportunities, new bounties open up to you. And it takes your breath away. It moves you forward. Do not doubt the beauty that is coming because it is really going to be exquisite. And I love that you have the judgment card and the world card because you have 20 and then 21 here. So you are renewing your energy. You are judging the situation. You are looking at what you want. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. And you are moving forward. Yeah. That's what you're doing. And then you have the six and then the seven. This is all about progression. This is all about going after what you want and having the confidence to do so. Libra. Then we have the page of air, which is you. And this says logical, honest, impulsive, and curious. Challenging information, delay, or change of plans, truth delivered without tact. All right? So this is what you're going to be dealing with. Now, this does say impulsive. Always with pages because they are young and can be representative of children also or people who are immature. Not saying that you are, but what I'm saying here is that it can be that there's a very young energy, air sign energy around you or young energy around you that wants you to act more quickly than you are. And you're like, listen, dude, you just have to step back a little bit. You just have to calm down because I need to move forward at my pace. So know here that if you, know, you have this logical, honest, curious nature to you, you want to express more. But if you're pushed, you're not going to respond well to that. And it's saying here, impulsiveness is going to be something that you may have to, to look at and say, okay, I need to step back. I want to act right away. But I know if I step back, if I think about it, if I sleep on it, I will, I will be better. Okay? I will make a wiser decision. There's also going to be, and that's what I saw with the communication, somebody who acts without tact, and it's really going to hurt you. So just be prepared for that, okay? Or just be mindful of that. Because you move here towards the night of waters, and this says emotional, romantic, enthusiastic, contemplative, and this says falling in love or wedding possibilities, or wedding proposals, the need for balance, to balance emotions, and Invitation to a social event. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to sneeze. Again, on you guys. Okay. So here, you have page, you have the mind and you have the heart coming together. This can be something absolutely beautiful. It could be the end of one relationship and the beginning of another. And your spirit guide is saying here, have your heart open. You are the knight of waters. You are that person that is moving forward. You are that emotion, emotional, romantic, enthusiastic contemplative person embrace it embrace it and if and if there is a desire to get married or to have a committed relationship right for those of you who aren't in a committed relationship you are feeling very sensitive about that and you might be thinking oh my gosh nobody's ever going to come you know I'm going to die alone being very kind of dramatic about the whole situation stop enjoy where you are right now your spirit guide is saying, enjoy where you are right now. And they're saying, trust me. Trust them to bring the person to you. Divinely guided timing. If you are in a relationship, it's still going to be divinely guided timing. There can be something that you're walking away from, some way that things are changing and shifting. Okay? And it's going to be the divinely guided timing that moves you forward. At your root is the nine of air and the queen of earth. Okay? The nine of air. Expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. Okay? You're expecting the worst. You're thinking, oh my gosh, worrying, overthinking, overanalyzing, fearing, fretting. Then we have the queen of earth. Thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take the sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. Be kind. And do not forget to be kind to yourself. As you're making time for others, make time for you. You're embracing what your soul needs and where you want to stand. You're embracing the truth of what you desire. You are moving yourself forward. The queen of earth is around you. Now, you can be having a bit of problems with an earth sign energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. But it can also be the sleepless nights are because there is a sense of 
a blockage. There is a sense of not embracing the thoughtful, creative, warm, and sensible side of you, right? But trying to be really practical about things. Okay, I'm thinking of earth energy as, you know, like unmoving, right? It has to be this way. It doesn't. Know that there are many different avenues. There's an old saying, there's more than one way to skin a cat. I don't know why you would want to say that. And it's, I believe it actually is an old like sailing reference, an old sailing saying. And I know it's super gross, but there's more than one way to do things is what I'm trying to say here. And that was just how spirit was saying it to me. So there's more than one way to skin a cat. There's more than one way to go about the situation, to move yourself forward, to get what it is that you desire. Don't sit there and think it has to only be one way. And if you are having difficulties with an earth sign energy, or you're having difficulties with practicalities, step back. Step into meditation. Okay? Go for a walk. Um, do something that you love if you don't like walking. You know, if going for a walk isn't your thing. You know, do something that you love. Because you're going to find that that connects you with spirit more and more and more. To give you the insights that you need to move you forward. Because you have here renewal. This leads you to renewal. Which says... Review and evaluate. A favorable assessment of the facts. Time to move in a new direction. Looking at things. Stepping back. You're not always going to be seeing the way that you're moving forward. You're not always going to be seeing the plan that's set out before you. As you connect with yourself. As you connect with what you want. But by listening to your spirit's guidance. Okay? Your spirit guides messages to you. You're going to be seeing that you're walking in truth and in understanding. You're going to be seeing that you're moving towards something greater. The high priestess says, listen to your intuition. Have patience. Consider carefully what you want before acting. Consider carefully how it is that you want to move forward as you're embracing this renewal, as you're being renewed. Review. Look at things. Evaluate the situation. Look at what it is that you want. And step back because your spirit guide is talking to you all the time. I firmly believe that every single one of us, we are spoken to by spirit, our spirit guides, the divine, however you say it, however you see it, all the time. We just forget how to listen. Here it's tuning in. The high priestess is saying you have the power within you. The high priestess also says, when I am closest to you, you are furthest from me. Because I know you got this. It's like a kid walking or riding a bike you don't have to hold on to them all the time once they get it so they're saying to you fly and fly high because the world is opening up to you and there is a thoughtfulness there is a creativity around you it is time to start creating there is time it is time to start cultivating what you want how you want to move forward what it is that you desire Embrace the beauty of your soul. Embrace the beauty of your truth. Because the six of air, the six of swords, says things are looking up. An end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. It's time to move. It's time to go after what you want, what you desire. Enough with the stagnation. Your spirit guide is saying, go forward because you have the movement here. Time to take a trip. Time to move forward. And then you have the chariot. An important, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. You move forward towards greatness. You move forward in your power. This is all about movement. And what do you have? Then the night of waters, again, movement. Okay, you're in the waters. You are moving forward. You are going after what it is that you want. You are emotional. Yes, there is a romantic energy around you. This is a time of embracing love, even if it's not with another person. It's just embracing what you love. And then the world opens up to you. A job well done. A time to celebrate. A seeing endless possibilities. Why? Because you're acting. You're moving forward. You're flying high. You're going after what you desire. Your spirit guide is saying that it will be hard. Why? Because this is earth. This is the earthly plane. It's always going to be hard. But you are moving forward. You are going to be impulsive. You are going to be logical. You are going to be honest. You are going to be curious. You are going to... Sit there and see and learn and have the door be open to so many different possibilities. But make sure, <coughs> excuse me, that you weigh them. Make sure that you're disciplined because if you are, if you take the time, if you master your skills, you move forward with the world opening up to you. Your connection with your spirit guide is going to be great. 
but you're going to feel trapped. Why? Because you're going to doubt your intuition. You're going to doubt the words that are being said at times. You're not going to feel fully connected. And that's going to make it hard to move forward, but then you feel renewed. Because as you connect with yourself, as you connect with what you want, you are renewed. You, are, you do move forward. And this brings you to your thought for this. It brings you to the warmth. It, it connects you to the earth. It plants you deeply. It's not unyielding. Okay? It's not the frozen ground. Which you can still you know, dig if you take a blowtorch. There's a power to you that you are embracing. And so how does Libra embrace the power of what you desire? How do you, how does Libra embrace the power of their desires? How does Libra embrace the power of their desires and not be held back in fear? How does Libra embrace the power of their desires and not be held back in fear? How does Libra embrace the power of their, des their desires and not be held back in fear? Show me clearly. 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 Fantastic. Four of Cups, stepping back, relaxing, taking a time out. The Nine of Pentacles, prosperity, abundance, seeing it, embracing it, embracing the beauty of the world around you, letting peace alight on your hands, okay, with that dove. And if not peace, it's freedom, purity of intention, mourning of the past, power of the future. Then we have the Queen of Staffs, the Queen of Wands, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is embracing your passion. This is saying a creative time is around you and your creative truth is guiding you. Then we have the Prince of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Do not run away from your heart. Do not run away from your heart or your passion. You are moving forward in your truth. By doing so, you will find that power ignites you, that people are around you, okay? Some of these people you might not like. Water sign, fire sign, earth signs might be there to teach you some lessons, right? But they are also going to be extremely important to you as you move forward, as you go after what you desire. Then we have the Prince of Cups going into the Queen of Cups. Your heart is so, is so important to you at this time. Your heart's truth, your heart's power, what you desire, the truth of your heart. Spirit is saying connect with it because that is where your spirit lies. That's where your spirit guide lies. That's where your truth lies. That's where your power lies within your heart. And you are absolutely connecting with it at this time. Your subconscious message, especially if you have a lot of water in your chart, especially then, I mean, because you have the king, the queen, the prince. Your subconscious message is the ace of hearts, uh, the ace of hearts, the ace of cups. Blessings. You're taking it most definitely. It can bring tears. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm the type of person, and I know I always say be open with your emotions everything, everything, and everything like that, and I have to listen to my own advice because I'm very much the step of her lip. You know, you just keep going. And yes, very emotional, very empathic, all right? And you will be having a bit of a hard time with it if you are because what I see here is the more you feel, and what I've learned is the more you feel, the more you take in the information, the more you open up your heart to the world, the harder it is. And sometimes you could just feel like you're drowning in this truth. It could just become too much. But you have to let the tears flow. And if you stifle it down and say, I can't be this emotion, I can't be, I can't be, I can't be. It will explode. It will be like Vesuvius. And you'll feel like Pompeii. I mean, just absolutely devastated. It would be like a volcano erupting. Just everything destroyed. Step back. Step back and let yourself have time to grieve. Let yourself have, have time to sit there and say, this is not where I wanted to be in my life. You know, this is not what I envisioned. You know, it doesn't have to be anything else that anybody else understands. You know, because you have the love surrounding you. And for those who are single, I'm telling you, it's going to be a time where you really doubt, you know, will I ever meet somebody? And with those doubts comes a fear. But if you step back, and you let yourself mourn. You say, okay, what if I never meet anybody? You know, what if life stays like this? And you might think, oh my gosh, no. But let go of the fear. And say, I can do this. For those of you who are in a relationship and who are very happy, you know, look at the sorrows that you have been carrying throughout your life that you put in a box and put on a shelf and said, you know, in your subconscious and said, you know what, not now. 
because they're going to be bubbling to the surface. This is a very emotional time for you, and it's time for an emotional cleanse because then it empowers you, and it moves you forward, and it opens the door to you, and it opens the world to you in a way you hadn't expected. And it blesses you. But you have to be open with your emotions. Your subconscious message is the ego. Now the ego is the devil card. And this says a false sense of entrapment, right? being overly focused on mental things, negative or fear-based thoughts. This is also Capricorn energy. The ego can take over. Don't let it. It's going to want to. But also let yourself embrace your ego. Say, this is who I am. Yes, I want to be recognized. Yes, I want to be prosperous. Yes, I want this. I want that. You know, I'd love it if the neighbors looked at me and went, oh my gosh, I wish I was them. But then say, I want to be happy. And say, it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks of me. Because I will find that I can fly high as long as I think properly of myself. Because that is your greatest power and that is your greatest truth. Embrace your wings. When I was little, I always thought our shoulder blades were where our wings were when we were angels and that we'd get them again. Let your wings span out. Envision yourself with them. Let yourself fly high and you will fly to beautiful heights. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. It has been a privilege and an honor to bring it to you. Oh, the Capricorn time frame is December 22nd to January 19th. There we go. All right. Bye.